On Saturday, June 25th, Cygnus completed its first limited reboost of the station after the engine fired for a full duration of five minutes, one second to adjust the space station's orbit. It raised the station's altitude by a tenth of a mile at apogee, or the highest point, and half a mile at perigee. This successful test maneuver was designed to prove an enhanced capability to be used in the future for the orbiting laboratory. While this was the first full reboost by a USOS visiting vehicle, another demonstration of this maneuver was performed back in 2018 during Northrop Grumman's ninth commercial resupply mission to the International Space Station. This Cygnus cargo spacecraft is a freighter belonging to Northrop Grumman, and the company has a history of naming each Cygnus after a person who's played a major role in the field of human spaceflight. This particular Cygnus was given the name the SS Pierce Sellers. Sellers was a NASA astronaut who played a critical role in the assembly of the International Space Station and went on to make great contributions in the field of climate science. He passed away in 2016, and this Cygnus serves as a reminder of his contributions. Proceeding with release. Station copies. Release commanded. Station copies. The latching end effector, or the hand of the Canadarm2 robotic arm, is in the process of unlatching or letting go of the Cygnus cargo spacecraft. Snares open. Begin monitoring for drift out. and the release of the Cygnus spacecraft supporting Northrop Grumman's 17th commercial resupply mission to the International Space Station is confirmed at 6.07 a.m. Central Time while the space station was flying over the Pacific Ocean. Station Houston for Cygnus. Cygnus departure burn complete. Perform step six in 1.602. And for your information, Cygnus has exited the 200 meter keep out sphere. <laughs> 